Hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. If not, welcome. My name is Olivia. I'm a graduate student outside of St. Louis, Missouri studying chiropractic so I'm like student doctor I guess. This is a, such a highly requested video on almost every single one of my videos and I get like DMs on Instagram asking me to do a video or asking questions about how I study, how I take notes, how I like revise my notes for exams. How I use my iPad also is a big question. So people ask me lots of questions about how I use that because I like talk about it in my vlogs or like you see it in my vlogs. Um, so that's what we're going to talk about today. I usually do like lifestyle vlogs just like about my life pretty much whatever I want to talk about I talk about. If that kind of stuff interests you make sure to hit the subscribe button. Follow me my Instagram's linked down below also if you want to follow me there too. And just some quick disclaimers. I study this way. That doesn't mean you have to study this way. My program requires certain things of me and your program might not. It's just like it's not that deep. So if what you're doing, if what you're rocking with works for you, then that's fine. I'm not telling you you have to change anything you're doing, but here's my two cents, if you will. I am a second trimester student. I'm not pregnant. A lot of people think I'm pregnant when I talk about trimesters. I'm not pregnant. My school goes in trimesters, so I have three trimesters in a year instead of two semesters. So I go to school year round, which is really fun for me. That being said, like I'm still semi new to this, but I feel like I have a good thing going on, so I want to share it, and that's that's all. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is how I don't take notes. Not taking notes sounds like a little bit shocking, and I was also kind of shocked when I started adopting this new like study method, study technique but I kind of like it. So I'm going to talk about that for just a minute. So I used to take notes all the time in my undergrad and I thought it was working because I thought that's like, it's just like what people did and I didn't know there was anything else to do. Um, but I would just like try to copy down almost everything I could on my professors, my lecturers slides and then I might like go back and rewrite them. So what I would do is I would sit down in class, the lecturer would lecture, read the PowerPoint slides, expand on their lecture slides, and I would write down as much as I could, like not really thinking about what I was trying to learn. So it obviously didn't work out great, but I would take my notes and then just like forget about it until the test came around. This is so bad. Take my notes and seemingly forget about it until a few days before the test rolled around and then I would start studying and that's kind of the difference between the program that I'm in now and like undergrad it's like you could kind of slack off for lack of a better term when I was an undergrad but now you have to like actively keep up with the information um or you're screwed anyways so I would take my notes in my lecture forget about it and then a week a few days before the test rolled around I'd start like rewriting my notes and I would also like voice memo like voice record on my cell phone cell phone why is this cell phone like the lecture so I could like go back and like re-listen to it and like add anything else in my rewritten notes that I deemed important. And this was just such a passive practice and I really wasn't retaining anything. I would like memorize stuff for the test and if a question rolled around I'd be like oh that sounds familiar because I like connected this thing with that thing and like those two words connected in my head and I could like successfully answer the question but I like didn't understand really what I was learning and it like got me by but I'm trying to be a doctor now so I like kind of I feel obligated to really understand what I'm learning. So that's what I did for the last like four years all through my undergrad and I knew it wasn't like the best way I could be studying. I just thought maybe like I, I just didn't know what else to do honestly. So if that's you hopefully I can add some value to your study techniques right now. So for my program, most professors will upload their PowerPoint, their lecture slides to our like school back office thing. We use Canvas. They upload them there and I can download them to my iPad. And I would upload them to Notability and I would just like annotate the lecture slides for the most part. Um, and then usually like never look at them again. So that's not good. I would maybe reference them if I was like studying and I didn't understand something or I was like oh I remember writing something down like what was that and I'd like go back and try to find it but pretty much I didn't use them too effectively and I still do sometimes just like annotate 
slides more as just like an engaging practice to keep myself like involved in the lecture if it's a boring lecture i'm not gonna lie so what i do instead during a lecture i might annotate notes just to like keep myself engaged but i'll usually like come on my laptop i'll have a split screen so like my zoom lecture will be on one side and then i'll have notion up on the other side i know so many people talk about notion and mine's not like special so i should put that out there i know there's tons of people that like really went all in on their notions and made it all pretty and had links in it and like different pages and all of that stuff more power to them i just like don't have the time or energy i'm gonna be honest so i'll like do a screen recording or whatever but i have all these like pages over here on the sidebar but the only thing I really use it for is school. Maybe I'll do something with the other pages, like over break or something when I have time. But here's my school page. It's a little doctor emoji because, you know. So I have all of my classes and I write recall questions during the lecture. So that's kind of how I study. And if you watch my vlogs, you'll always hear me say like, oh, I'm doing my Anki cards, I'm doing my Anki cards or I didn't do my Anki cards for the day. And I've been using Anki since last try, but I only started implementing this study process, this study technique during my lectures this try. So just for an example, I guess we'll do like physiology. Okay, so here is a bunch of just like topics, like lecture topics that we have been going over since I adopted this method. Let's see, what's a good example? We'll just click on the first one because it's probably a decent example. Yeah, okay. So you see a bunch of these colors and I'll get to that in a little bit, but basically I will just write out the topic of what we're talking about. I might do a little emoji if there's a relevant one and I'm feeling fun. Maybe the lecture is emphasizing a point um, or like this is important or they repeat something, whatever. I will create a recall question for myself um so it's basically like real-time flashcards if that makes sense and i was doing this solely on anki for a little bit last try and i was doing the same kind of thing like split screen zoom lecture and the other half was my anki but i don't have anki on my ipad or on my phone because it's like 25 dollars for the mobile app and i just i don't want to pay for it but i like notion because it kind of organizes them a little bit more I don't know pretty much however you want because you can customize your notion but it's just a little bit more organized and structured and a little bit more like notes if that makes sense so this is an old page i haven't actually went in and changed the colors on these but what i used these colors for i don't do this all the time but sometimes i'll do it i will go through these questions and if i didn't know it at all the first time then i like highlight it red if i kind of understood it or got a portion of the question right yellow if i'm like good on it green and this is good for like on the go because i don't have that like Anki algorithm for my mobile devices I will use this like color coding system if I'm like walking on the treadmill or I'm like waiting um in a waiting room for an appointment or like something I can pull out my phone I have the notion app on my phone and I can go through like the red or yellow questions um that I know I need to work on and not just like keep repeating the questions that I know I have down but basically what I do is I just type out these questions in notion using the toggle feature and I love the toggle feature because it's like a little flashcard, like a little baby mini flashcard. So basically the toggle feature just like hides your answer. Um, so you can quiz yourself in that way. So once I have all the questions down that I want for that topic, I will go convert my Notion page into an Anki deck. And I'm not gonna go through how I do that right now because it, that, that could be a whole separate video and it's just I don't know there's probably a bunch of videos on YouTube I'll link the one down below that I used the first time I did my conversion I can open up my Anki cards and then answer them like that there's a, also a bunch of videos on like the Anki algorithm how to make Anki cards all of that that are made by people that are a lot smarter than I am the reason I love doing Notion and Anki and like not actually just like passively writing notes is because it implements my two favorite study techniques and if you watched Ali Abdal then you know I'm about to say but like he knows where it's at space repetition and active recall active recall is essentially like just testing yourself so flashcards or like drawing um pathway from memory or we have like practical situations that we have to do as like student doctors um we'll like run through like clinical scenarios like with 
or friends, whatever. And the key is you have to do it without like looking at your notes first. So active recall kind of like forces you to not memorize stuff, which is what I was not trying to do. I guess I was trying to do it in undergrad, um, but I didn't realize how this sounds dramatic, but detrimental it could be to like my actual like learning process. The action of really pulling that information out of your brain helps you remember it more, remember it longer, make different connections with the material so you're just like more likely to recall it when a test question comes around. So what I could be doing is I could be just like annotating my lecture notes and then when I want to study I could just read all the way through it not really retain anything but feel like I'm doing something because I'm like being productive or I could just sit and read my book and highlight it and think I'm being productive instead of actually engaging with the material and writing myself questions. Next thing is space repetition and this is what Anki is really good at. So the way that Anki does their flashcards is absolutely genius and it implements this space repetition. Instead of having like a physical like deck, like thick deck of flashcards that you just run through over and over again and you're like subconsciously like kind of memorizing the order of the cards or like the wording of the card or maybe like one card has a little coffee stain on it and you're like oh the coffee stain card like the answer was like this and then like that might be really niche but I know I used to do stuff like that so <laughs> and I think I'd be learning it but like actually like didn't really know what I was talking about. So a question will come up and then when you answer it in your head or sometimes I write out the answers um just again to be a little more engaging I will click show answer and then down here is the spaced repetition part of it. So if you didn't know what was going on, didn't know the answer, you can click again and it'll give it to you in 10 minutes. And you can change these intervals in the settings and all key, but I just kind of go with what it gave me. If it was super easy and you got it, you know, right away, you can click easy and it will give it to you in this case, 1.7 months. But I think it's like, if you get it, it can be good at one day or like super easy and then you can move it to like four days. Um, and then after four days, if you get it again, maybe it's six days, but if after six days you're like, ah, I don't really remember it, it'll go back in your deck and show up more frequently because you need to like review that material, if that makes sense. So it's just like a really, really good way to learn stuff and keep up on material. And there's so many studies that have been done on active recall, space repetition, and all that, um, that prove time and time again that these study methods are more effective for students or just like learning things in general than rewriting notes, rereading notes, highlighting, stuff like that. If I ever get tired of doing my Anki cards or I feel overwhelmed with the information, I will pull up my iPad again, I'll pull up my Apple Pencil. Is it Apple Pencil or Apple Pen? Apple Pencil. I'll pull this out and I will open up my Notability and I'll just do a blank page and I'll do a mind map. So like one topic in the middle and then it like branches out to another topic and another topic and like you kind of just like see everything from like a bird's eye view. It makes me feel kind of like I know more than I think I do. One, it boosts my confidence for like answering further questions, but it also helps form relationships and connections with the material. So sometimes I'll just start memorizing and I don't again I don't like to memorize so I, I'll feel myself start to just get in a rut of like almost memorizing and I'll stop I'll start these mind maps just so I can have a better overview understanding of the material and be able to see like how different things connect and the relationships between a bunch of different things. The key is you can't look at your notes to fill in the blank spots on your mind map or your pathways or like you know whatever you're trying to do um, because one it helps you see where the gaps are in your knowledge and you can go back and clarify those things or review them a little bit more. Again if you're looking at your notes you're not actively recalling you're passively recalling and we like active recall. That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something. Comment below what kind of program you're in or maybe you just enjoy studying videos, I don't know. Yeah, let me know what kind of program you're in, med student, law student, undergrad, what your major is, all that stuff. Give the video a thumbs up because that tells YouTube that other people should watch my video. They're like, hey, this is cool over here, more people should come watch this and then other people come watch it and they're like oh this is really cool and then they give it a thumbs up and then like they like the video and then my channel grows and then I'm happy and then I keep making content 
for you. Give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all of that jazz, and I will see you guys in my next video. Happy studying and goodbye.